Hi guys, Carrie Ann here from Geek Girl Diaries, here to explain to you how you can set up your Raspberry Pi the new way, using the new out of box software from Raspberry Pi. How to set up your Pi the new way. Don't worry if you're still interested in how to set up your SD card the full way, it's always good to learn how to do things the kind of proper way. Um, I have a video on my channel called Pi Girl. Just click on the annotation and it will take you to that video, which includes information on how to set up the hardware of your Pi 2. The new and exciting way to get software onto your SD card is to use the new out of box software from Raspberry Pi. Why use the new out of box software? Well, first of all, it's easier to use. In the past, you would need to download your operating system from the Raspberry Pi website. You would extract the image file and then you would have to flash that image file to the SD card. With this system, you just download the software and then you copy the extracted files straight onto your SD card like you would do with any removable storage. It will also partition your SD card for you and that's something that I'll explain later on in this video. It also gives you the choice of an operating system to install. So when it loads for the first time, all the operating systems that are already built into that software are available and you can select which one you'd like to use. Finally, it includes a recovery partition. So if the worst imaginable thing happened and you accidentally deleted some important files from your file system, um, you don't need to start the whole procedure over again and image your SD card. You can just use the recovery system. And I'll show you that later on in the video too. Before downloading the software, it's good practice to format your SD card first. The best way to do this is to use the SD Association tool, SD Formatter, which you can download from their website. When you run the SD Formatter, the first thing to do is to make sure that the correct drive is selected. So I know that F is my SD card. And using the Options button, I'm going to use a full format. Click OK, and then format the card. It's going to ask you if you're sure. You click OK and then wait for it to erase anything that's on your card. Now you can navigate to the raspberrypi.org website and click on the Downloads tab at the top and you will see the new out-of-box software listed at the top. I'm going to use the direct download link to download it. It will take me to this page and it should automatically start downloading for you. And if not, you can click on the link here. Mine started to, down to download. Once it's finished, I'm going to extract um, the files somewhere onto my PC. I've opened the zipped file I've downloaded, I'm just going to extract all the files into a folder where I know they are. Once they're extracted, um, you can just simply copy them over to your removable disk, your formatted SD card. I can just copy the files straight over. It may take a while for those files to copy over, but once they're finished, you can safely remove the disk and you can take the SD card out of your computer and plug it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up your Raspberry Pi for the first time. You will then see the following display, which says resizing fat partition. This brings me back to the start of my video when we were talking about partitions. Well, what are partitions? You can partition any storage device. So the hard drive in your computer, that can be partitioned. And the storage device we use with a Raspberry Pi is an SD card. Partitioning is just another way of saying that you're going to divide something into different spaces. So on your SD card under the old image, this meant that there were two sections. There was one section for your boot partition, which held all the files you needed to load the software for your Raspberry Pi. And then there was a partition where you store all the files that you create or maybe the applications you download later. Under the new software, there are now three partitions. You've still got your boot partition with your system files that will load your software. You've also got your space to store the files you create or any applications you download. But most excitingly, there is now a recovery partition. And this is partitioned off and kept safe so that if you corrupt any of your boot partition files, you can safely restore them by pressing and holding shift on the keyboard when your Pi boots. Anyway, getting back to the new software. Once it's finished resizing your partitions, it will bring up this menu asking you which operating system you wish to install. I'm going to install Raspbian, but 
If I wanted to, I could format another SD card, I could use this new out of box software and I could try a different operating system. Once you've selected the operating system you want, you will have to wait for it to load. And it does take a little while, but there is some fantastic graphics explaining what an operating system is, what Raspbian is, and other tips on how to get your Raspberry Pi up and started. It does take a little while, which means I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and then I'll skip to the end. When it finishes installing, it will tell you that the image has been installed successfully and you can boot your Pi for the first time. It will load the Raspberry configuration tool so you're able to set a password, set your location, overclock if you want to, um, expand your SD card if you want to do that too. All the information on how to do that is on my blog over at geekgirldiaries.co.uk if you want to know more. Once set up, you can click OK and off you go and load your Pi. Well done for using the new out-of-box software from Raspberry Pi. It makes loading an SD card much simpler and quicker to get started. Please note you can only install one operating system at a time. To get to the recovery console, if you do corrupt your files or you want to start again, then you need to press and hold shift when you boot. If you want to find out any more instructions about the Raspberry config or you got stuck or I've not explained something brilliantly then I write everything up onto my blog which can be found on the Geek Girl Diaries website www.geekgirldiaries.co.uk and if you click on the blog tab it will take you to the blog post. So that's it in a nutshell, the really easy new way to get your SD card prepared to use with your Raspberry Pi. My name's Carrie Ann, you've been watching the Geek Girl Diaries and remember to like, share and subscribe. <laughs>